Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be talking about the core elements of hospital antibiotic stewardship programs. Antibiotics have transformed the practice of medicine, making one's lethal infections readily treatable and making other medical advances like cancer chemotherapy and organ transplants possible. From initiation of antibiotics to treat infections, reduces morbidity and save lives, for example, in cases of sepsis. However, about 30% of all antibiotics prescribed in U.S. acute care hospitals are either unnecessary or suboptimal. Like all medications, antibiotics have serious adverse effects, which occur in roughly 20% of hospitalized patients who receive them. Patients who are unnecessarily exposed to antibiotics are placed at risk for these adverse events with no benefit. The misuse of antibiotics has also contributed to antibiotic resistance, which is a serious threat to public health. The misuse of antibiotics can adversely impact the health of patients who are not even exposed to them through the spread of resistant organisms and C. difficile. Optimizing the use of antibiotics is critical to effectively treat infections, protect patients from harms caused by unnecessary antibiotic use, and combat antibiotic resistance. Antibiotic stewardship programs or ASPs can help clinicians improve clinical outcomes and minimize harms by improving antibiotic prescribing. Hospital antibiotic stewardship programs can increase infection cure rates while reducing treatment failures, C. difficile infections, adverse effects, antibiotic resistance, hospital costs, and length of stay. What are the core elements of hospital antibiotic stewardship programs? Number one, hospital leadership commitment. Dedicate necessary human, financial, and information technology resources. Number two, accountability. Appoint a leader or co-leader such as a physician and pharmacist responsible for program management and outcomes. Number three, pharmacy expertise, previously known as drug expertise. Appoint a pharmacist, ideally as the co-leader of the stewardship program, to help lead implementation efforts to improve antibiotic use. Next on the list is action. Implement interventions such as prospective audit and feedback or pre-authorization to improve antibiotic use. Tracking. Monitor antibiotic prescribing, impact of interventions, and other important outcomes like C. difficile infections and resistance patterns. Reporting. Regularly report information on antibiotic use and resistance to prescribers, pharmacists, nurses, and hospital leadership. Education. Educate prescribers, pharmacists, nurses, and patients about adverse reactions from antibiotics, antibiotic resistance, and optimal prescribing. I conclude my presentation with a reference slide. If you enjoyed this video, please show your support by subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.